Hello, welcome to BIST Solutions. My name is Sonal Sharma and I'm working as functional consultant with BIST Solutions. In today's video, we are going to learn how to create and change period in ARCS application. Here, uh, we need to understand one thing that there are two periods are there. I will show you it uh, on the application. Like you can see in the application part, the first period is this one directly on the application and the second one is in configuration part. In the configuration part, you are defining or you are actually creating the period. Here you can see this is the period tab. Uh, in this list, you can see already created periods, their start date and date, uh, the prior period attached to it and what would be the close date for it. There are option of uh, editing or deleting the period. You can also uh, see the periods in the list through the filters or add or remove the filters from here. You can also import or export periods from the CSV file or in the CSV file from here. You can uh, see uh, the periods uh, as per your uh, requirements, like you want to add multiple columns here and you want to see according to that, you can also do that. So these are the ways uh, in the period configuration part. Here I am going to show you uh, creation of a particular period. I am creating February 2022 and the previous period is uh, mandatory to give as it is uh, attaching uh, the period uh, while uh, creating the reconciliation or transaction matching in case you need balances, the opening balances or something like that. So for that, it is a predefined, uh, you know, format. So you cannot uh, do anything uh, in any form. You cannot... Uh, give dates it has to be very specific and clean so here i am providing uh, february 28 uh, 2022 and the ending period is again 28 and 2022 here you can see that uh, we are defining the frequency that whether you want to reconcile it monthly or quarterly basis it completely depends on the practices followed by the organization so i am taking here as month okay this is the way you can create the period okay i need to give a dash here let's see whether it is taking or not Okay, so the period is created. See February 22, the start date, the prior period, and end date and close date are showing here. Uh, you can see the status of a particular period from here also that uh, the clock is showing the pending period. The green color uh, arrow is showing open and the lock period. And this is the red one is closed period. Uh, through this period, we are creating this uh, particular period. Now moving to the another period that is uh, directly through the application. Here you can see the list of already created periods are showing in this particular uh, period um, uh, tab. What you can do is, uh, first of all, you need to understand the status that whether it's pending or open or closed or lock or anything and the detail given by uh, that particular period is defined here. Now here, what you can do is you can change the status of particular period. You cannot create any reconciliation or transaction matching without opening that particular period. If the period is not open, it is not allowing you to create reconciliation. So if I want to create reconciliation for this February period, I need to change the status. For changing or updating the status, I can go to the action and the set status that is I am making it open. Okay, and if I am, uh, I want to close this or I want to lo log this period, I can go to status and change it to closed or locked period. Uh, this is the place where you can, uh, through the action button, you can also import data or premap data, currency rates or uh, checking um, missing reconciliation or uh, report binder generation can be done from this period also. Uh, here you can create the reconciliation through that period also. So this is uh, today's video where uh, we understand how to create period and how to change the status of a particular period. So this is it for today's video. Thank you.